All right, man, so look, we back at it again with another crazy video for y'all. But before we get into the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big, big favor. Go down below in the comment section, and I need y'all to answer the poll question of the day. Now, today's poll question of the day is, I, I know I'm getting like a little, I'm getting your business just, just a little bit, just a little bit. But I want to know how many kids do you guys have, or how many kids do you guys want if you have kids? I know I got a couple younger audience. I got a couple older audience. I got an audience of variety people, like a variety of people. You feel me? All ages. So let me know if you want kids how many do you want if you already have kids how many do you have me personally i just want two okay and that's not gonna happen until i'm probably like 25 26 when i'm married you i plan to get married young so when i'm married that's when that's gonna happen but anyways man without further ado hit the like button subscribe to our post notifications follow your boy on ig what is y'all doing man follow your boy on ig also I, it's the podcast channel y'all need to subscribe y'all need to subscribe it's gonna be lit i promise you subscribe to the podcast channel without further ado Let's get into the breaking news. Today, some breaking news coming into Sports Center. Phoenix Suns and Mercury owner Robert Sarver has been suspended for one year and fined $10 million following an investigation into the organization. Among the findings was that Sarver used the N word at least five times and re. Report found that Sarver and others what in the, the organization fuck? treated. I didn't hear that. Sarver has been suspended for one year and fined $10 million following an investigation into the organization. Among the findings was that Sarver used the N-word at least five times and re- Report found that Sarver and others in the organization treated female employees unfairly, made sexual related comments and bullied others. The investigation did note that since the allegations came to light, Sarver has made efforts to promote diversity and inclusion and that most of the Suns employees involved in the investigation. Thank you for watching. Okay, first off, let's say this. First, I want to say this. Y'all need to fix your little server, okay? Because your lips wasn't even matching up with the words that you were saying. Y'all need to fix your server, ASAP. Second of all, the thing is laggy. Y'all need to fix that too. I don't know what y'all got going on at ESPN, Sports Center, whatever. You need to fix it, okay? But let's get into the, okay, I, I want to say this first off. So he was fined for one year. Uh, he, no, he was fined for $10 million, uh, but he was susp he suspended for one year for saying the N word. Okay, now, and it was more things on at, added to that, but let's talk about the N word. Now, I, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with a white person saying the N word. The reason I don't is because if black people can say it, and we are in a free country, if black people can say it, why can't white people? Why can't they say the N word? Is it all what I thought about? It's because of slavery and this and that. But then y'all think y'all say that the word is so offensive to certain black people. But I mean, the black people who they say the word is offensive to say it themselves. So if the word is so offensive, why do black people have the right to say it to one another if it's so offensive? I'm just saying, because if something is, uh, is offensive to me, I'm not going to say it because then that means that it's too offensive. You feel me? You know what I'm trying to say? So for them to find or well, for them to suspend him for one year, I all I feel like it's because be, because he's white and he's saying the N word. Because uh, let me say, if he was black and saying the N word, it would have been no problem. You feel me? Black people have the right to do everything. You feel me? But white people there, they can't do certain stuff that black people can do. Certain words that black people say, white people can't say. It's just all BS to me. But I know that it was more stuff tacked onto it. But the first thing they said was the N word, which caught my attention because I'm just like, it's okay for us to say it, but it's not okay for the white people to say it. I kind of find that just... You feel me? That's hypocritical, hypocritical because if you say something is offensive, why do you have the right to say it to one another if it's so offensive? You feel me? Because white people, they if they say the N-word, half of them, I'm saying half, some of them would just say the 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 Iga. You feel me? They say Iga. They don't say it er, they say Iga. You feel me? And just how black people talk to each other, like, hey, what's up, my Iga? You feel me? Like that's that's how they say it. I, I'm just kind of confused on the whole situation. Look, I don't I don't think nothing is wrong with this. I feel like this man should not have been suspended for one year and fined $10 million. Now, if there was other stuff tacked on to it, okay, y'all can y'all can put those on. But the whole N-word situation, bro, that's all BS, man. For real, that's all BS. That word's not even offensive in today's time and age because people say it all day long. They say it in the rap songs. They say it everywhere, bro. So I don't think there's nothing wrong with saying that word. You feel me? Because if... <sighs> I don't know, man. Y'all let me know about y'all thoughts and comments on the situation. Um, 
but to suspend somebody and to find them for ten million dollars is ridiculous. It, it, it's seriously ridiculous. You feel me? Unless unless they just want to take off the N word and just do the things that he already already had on, like sexual uh, sexual comments and things like that. Okay, that's cool, but. The whole in the word situation, bro, that's all BS, bro. I, tr to be honest, like, that word doesn't mean nothing in today's time and age. It only means something if you make it something, you feel me? If you want it to mean something, you can want it to mean something. But true, to be honest, I feel like it don't mean nothing to nobody. I, I definitely feel like it don't mean nothing to black people because they say it all the time. So <laughs> if it don't mean nothing to them and they can say it so bluntly and say it out loud and say, oh, my, 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 my. I feel like white people could do the same thing. And what's up, my, you know, I, I feel like they could do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? We are in a free country, bro. We could do what we want to do. Y'all still holding us bound to say certain, or y'all still holding certain people bound to saying certain things, or they can't say certain things because of what happened back then. Like, bro, man, if y'all don't live in the uh, present and stop living in the past, this world would never be this is the world would never be united if we keep living in the past okay if we just come to the present and realize what we are in today's time and age then we will become united but if we keep looking at the past and looking at slavery and looking at what our ancestors been through and looking at this and looking at that we'll never be united i don't think people want to be united because they want to bring up every little situation to separate us white people can't say this white people can't do this white people can't do that white people, what black people can't do I, i'm being honest what black people can't do it seems like they can do everything. But white people are so, they're bound to this. They're bound to this. They can't do this. They can't say that. They can't be this. They can't do this. They can't ally. They can't. Get, it's, like, it's just, oh, Lord. It, <laughs> black people say that white people don't go through nothing. I think they go through more stuff than us. Okay, I'm be honest. I really do. I, I seriously do. And I believe what I just said. I really believe that white people are going through way more stuff. Because, I mean, black community, bro, y'all got your own problems with each other. But these white people, I mean, seriously, like, I, I feel bad for them. I truly do. I feel bad for them because they, they so bound to everything. Like, black people always coming at their necks. They can't do that. <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.